I think what you're trying to ask is uh, why am I so insistent upon giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black pushing them to identify with uh, 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 black culture. I think that's what you're asking. It's, it's, I have no choice over it in the first place. To me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world, black people. I mean, and I mean that in every, every sense, uh, outside and inside. And to me, we have a culture that uh, is surpassed by, 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 by no other civilization, but we don't know anything about it. So again, I think I've said this before in this same interview, I think uh, at some time before, my, my job is to somehow make them curious enough or persuade them by hook or crook to get more aware of themselves and where they came from and what they are into and what is already there and just to bring it out. This is what compels me to compel them. And I will do it by whatever means necessary. When I'm finished working, as tired as I am, and my work completely takes all my energy, unfortunately, but when there are kids who come backstage afterwards who want to talk or who are moved to the point, sometimes they're moved to tears, I want to know more about it, and they shake my hand, and they kiss me, and they want to talk about their problems. I find the time to do so as much as I can. Uh, um, I discourage breakfasts and speeches because I'm not, I don't make speeches, but I will go out of my way in spite of the fact that I'm too tired to do it, to talk to them at least for five minutes or so, to, to, sh to sock to them the same message that I just finished doing on stage and perhaps to hear some of their grievances or just to make them feel that they are not alone. Because uh, when, when you have a few colored kids in a huge white college, any way you cut it, they are alienated and they feel it. So when I come, I feel a responsibility. They're so glad to see me because I represent something to them. And I can't give them enough, you know. I, I, they need me. They need me. And when, I, when I'm needed, I, I, I have to give. I, I, I curse myself afterwards for having no voice, usually, and being so exhausted that I can't do anything for myself. But when they need me, they need me for, and the most important thing is, they are our future. It's an, it's an investment, as far as I am concerned. When I invest time in young people from colleges, I know that I'm going to get that bread back. You know, bread cast upon the water comes back. Because when I see them doing their thing one day and I'm too old to do anything but sit and look at them, I'm going to say, well, I was part of that. I never intend for my children to look at me and be ashamed and say, Mama, why didn't you do something? I will have done mine. Of my and so every time I talk to them, it's an investment to me.